Hey quad fans out there, Eric here from Around Two at RC and today I'll be reviewing the Flytrex Core 2 module on my Blade 350QX quadcopter. Okay so let's get an up close and personal look at the Flytrex Core 2 module on my Blade 350QX quadcopter. There you can see the Flytrex Core 2 module attached to the underside of my Blade 350QX and I attached it with Velcro which makes for quick and easy access and you can see there's a cable coming from the module going inside the quad and we'll hit on that in just a minute. Now you see the little black tab there that is a micro SD memory card and I'm going to insert it now that records information from the module itself. Now about the module you can see obviously it's uh, compatible with the Blade 350QX it's also compatible with several versions of the DJI Phantom and I'll let you refer to the website for the particular models it's also compatible with the NASA M V1 or V2 and the APM 2.5 or 2.6 electronic systems. Now to the meat and potatoes of what this actually does. You can see it's right here. It's connected to something inside the quad. It's actually connected to the GPS electronics inside the quadcopter. And it records real-time flight data while you're in the air. Now, what, what are you going to do with that information? It's actually stored on the micro SD card. You take the card out, put it in your desktop or laptop PC, and then upload it to the Flytrex website. And then you can see the real-time data from your flights on their website. They have a flight logger, mission analyzer. You actually can get badges and enter challenges with them and a whole lot of different things. All right, so let's check out how much is going for right now. You can get the Flytrex Core 2 module right now for $49.99 and you also have to buy the particular cable for the type of quad that you're flying. So let's go ahead and talk about how I installed this on my Blade 350QX. So I'm going to put the camera down, break the quad apart, and then show you. Okay so I've got the Blade 350QX opened up where we can get a good look of how the cable installs for the Flytrex Core 2 module. So let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit here and talk about that. Now right here, there's the cable that comes up from the Flytrex Core 2 module through a hole in the bottom half of the Blade 350QX body. And you can see it snakes around here and it actually is a Y harness. It splits off and it goes two different directions. Well, let's follow this one first. And as you look, you can see it plugs in to another cable which is actually from the GPS electronics from the Blade 350QX. Now let's back up and follow it over here. The other section of the cable goes and plugs into the circuit board for the Blade 350QX. So this is basically a pass-through cable that allows you to record all the flight data from the GPS electronics on the Blade 350QX to the Flytrex Core 2 module. Now to get to this point, takes about 10 to 15 minutes because of the large number of screws you have to take off the quad to get the body half open. But installing the cable itself takes about a minute. And then you put everything back together and you're ready to go. Now I don't know about the installation times for the other types of quads. I've only experimented with the Blade 350QX and this is what I found out so far. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and check out the Flytrex website and look at all my mission data that I've recorded using this little jewel, okay? Okay, so I'm on the Flytrex website and I'm going to click the sign in button at the top of the page. There's a number of different ways you can sign in, Facebook, Twitter, Google, or using an email address. And I prefer to sign in with Facebook. So I'm gonna click on that icon and it logs me in using my Facebook account. And this is my profile page here on the Flytrex website. You can see I've flown a total of 12 missions and flown five miles during those 12 missions. And I also have a number of badges. Now let me hit on that real quick. Now these guys were really thinking when they put the website together. Not only did they want to collect your data, they wanted you to have some fun along the way and award you badges for certain milestones. Uh, now I wanted to thoroughly test out this Flytrex Core 2 module so I took it on my 2014 RC road trip and flew it in just about every state that I was in. So you get a new badge for every new state that you fly in. And here they are. Georgia, Virginia, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky, 
and Tennessee. Now there are a number of badges that you can get along the way and uh, one of my favorite badges is the Speed 50 badge. That's where I broke the 50 mile an hour speed record. All right, to the right is my individual missions or flights as I've uploaded them here on the Flytrex website. And let's take a look at one of those real quick. Now let's look at this one. This is where I broke the uh, 50 mile per hour range and got my badge for it. And right here on the mission, you can see the map right there. Other people can leave comments about your missions and you can actually share these on other social media websites. So let's go ahead and click on this map and take a look at that individual mission. All right. Right here, you see, you can share it, you can tweet it, or you can put it on Facebook. Now, and I've done that for all my missions, right there, you see I've shared it with my friends on Facebook. So you don't actually have to be a member of the Flytrex website to share your information about your flights with everybody. All right, taking a look at this mission, you get, a, you get the highlights up here, the duration, the travel, max distance, speed, ascent, and altitude. Looking at the map, you can see every place that I actually flew during that mission. And let's take a look at the graph down here at the bottom. This is really cool. When you put the mouse pointer on it, you get a pop-up menu that tells you the time, the temp, the speed, and the altitude during the whole flight. All right, now, is, as you look at the map, and I'm dragging my mouse across the graph, see the little red dot? That's the actual spot where I was during this mission right here. All right, now look down at the graph again. You can see the peaks. Those were where I was trying to break a new speed record. And you see I got progressively faster as I went along. And finally my last lap is where I hit 58 miles an hour. Pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to my profile page and take a look at another, op another option you can do. Now see with this mission, I attached a video of the flight. This was during Halloween. I made a video of my Blade 350QX with a ghost costume on it and you can click on it and watch it just like that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That's just another way to have fun and share this flight with your friends. All right, let's go to the main page of Flytrex. Now you see they're advertising a new uh, product, Flytrex Live 3G. It's supposedly a live black box that transmits the real-time data back to a smartphone or iPad or tablet. And I should have some more information on that later. But you can see you can have a lot of fun with the uh, Flytrex Core 2 module. And there are a lot of different ways to interact with the Flytrex website. Okay, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell about the Flytrex Core 2 module. Okay, well that wraps up the review for the Flytrex Core 2 module on my Blade 350 QX quadcopter. Be sure to check out this cool product at flytrex.com and visit their Facebook page where they get the latest updates on all their products. As for this one, I'm giving it a thumbs up. I really enjoyed it and I think you will too. All right, well that's it for the review. As always, I'm glad you got to see me and we'll see you later on the tube. And remember, keep those multi-rotors flying.